how to extract a data table and export it to Excel file. First, create a new project on WebPath Studio. Then, open a browser on datatables.net webpage and on the home page we can see a data table sample. So, to extract this data table, first, let's open again WebPath Studio and here above, let's click on the button Table Extraction. Now, uh, to configure the table extraction, let's start by clicking on Add Column. And now, let's in case here the value of the first column on the first row. And we can see that WebPath detected basically the columns from this table automatically. If we want to extract all columns, we can click here on Yes. And now here we can see uh, the data that was extracted. And here if you click on preview, we can see so a preview of the extraction across the different columns. If we want to remove a column from the extraction, for example, the salary column, we can here hover hit and click here on this button. And now this column will not be considered on the extraction. Now we can see here that uh, this data table has data across different pages. In order to extract the data on each page, we have here to add the next links. So we have to indicate where the robot should click to navigate to the next data table page. So let's click here on add next link. And let's now indicate here the next And it's done. Now here we can limit the extraction so we can find the max the rows to extract or max pages. Let's leave no limit. And now let's click on save and close. And now to export the data table to Excel file here on activities, let's search for right range. And let's drag this activity to our project. First, let's indicate the name of the Excel file that will be created in our case. Then here we can define the sheet name and the starting cell to write uh, the data table extracted. And now here, let's indicate the data table. So the data table will be stored on this extract data table variable. So let's just indicate this variable. And make sure here on the activity right range workbook, you check the option as headers. Now let's see how it's running our project. So let's click on run. And as we can see, the robot is navigating across the different pages where we have data on our data table. So the robot already handed extraction. Now, if you go to the project panel and refresh, you can see here a new file. And here we can see the data extracted from the data table of datatables.net website. If you like this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and now consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you'll get notified on this tutorial that I launch here on the channel.